Hi everybody, in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a simple UDP client server communication in Contiki Kuja simulator. So here what I am going to have means, I am going to have a single uh, UDP server machine or a server node and I am going to have 10 UDP client nodes. So how they are going to communicate with each other, so this is what we are going to see in this particular uh, video. Now, so let me start the Kuja simulator. So, I am going to the terminal. So, in the terminal, so let me go to the folder CD Contiki 3.0. So, this is the name of the folder. So, here inside this, we can go to tools. So, inside the tools, so we have Kuja. So the command is and run is a command. So this will load the Kuja simulator for you. Now we are in Kuja inside Kuja simulator. Okay, so there is a Kuja environment. We are already uh, familiar with this. Now, so let me go start a new simulation. So I'm just going for the file. Okay, new simulation I'm going to create. So the name of the simulation is going to be UDP client server. So let me use a name UDP client server. I'm not going to change the radio medium. I'm going to use the default radio medium that is uh, unit disk graph medium that means UDGM. Okay, that is the radio medium I'm going to take it here. Then delay also. Okay, it is going to be one millisecond random speed. Okay, I'm not changing any default value. So let me take only the thing whatever it is available just I'm going to take. It. So let me click create. So we are inside the Kuja now. Okay, that means all the windows are open now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 different windows available. Already in some video I explained to you what is uh, what is the use of each and every video, window. Okay, so network window and we have the simulation control window here. We have the nodes, we have the mode output and we have the timeline. So these are the 5 different windows available in Kuja. Now, so I'm going to design my topology now. So how we can design our topology means you can add the modes. Okay. So let me go to the modes. Now I'm going for the add mode, add modes, create new mode. Now I'm going to take the sky mode here. So sky mode, I'm going to use it for this particular lab. Now click the sky mode. So description. So first let me create a server. So I'm going for UDP server. So this is my uh, the first mode I'm going to take. Now, so what is the process or the firmware? That means the program which you want, which you want to uh, okay, uh, what to say, uh, which we want to insert in this particular node. Okay, so the program I'm going to select. Already there are a lot of programs available inside the exam folder, so you can choose anything. Now, so let me go to the browse. Okay, so by default. Okay, so it will be here user Contiki 3.0. So, this is the folder where your Contiki software is available. So, inside that we have a folder, it is examples. So, just click on the examples folder. So, examples. So, inside the examples we have IPv6. So, there is a folder IPv6. I am going for IPv6. Then, in IPv6, there is another folder which is UDP. Okay. This is RPL UDP. RPL. RPL means it is a routing protocol. Okay. That means IPv6 routing protocol for LLN. That means low power and noisy networks. So I'm going to choose the RPL UDP. So let me take the RPL UDP. You can find inside this you will be having the uh, programs that means the C program for both client and server. Okay. So UDP server.c. So this is the program we are going to use it for the server node and then you will be adding the client UDP client okay dot C also it is available. So this uh, program we are going to use it for the uh, client nodes okay. Now let me take the UDP server dot C okay this is the program I am taking here I am just going to open it. So this is the process that I am going to load it for the server machine that means the server mode. Now you can just clean it click the clean and you can compile it. So there are few warnings available. Warnings you can ignore it. So no need to worry about the warnings. 
but if there is any error available you have to address that errors okay so warnings it is not going to affect any uh, process or any continuation you can simply continue with the warnings there is no issues with the warnings now so the program we compiled here okay now i'm going to create the node so just you can create click the create so it is asking the number of uh, modes how many modes you want to create so i want to create only one okay so only one server machine i'm going to have in this case and positioning i'm going to keep it a random position so just i'm giving one random position and you can add the mode now you can see this is your uh, udp server mode okay you can say mode or sensor node or node okay everything is going to be the same meaning here now i just created one mode this is going to be a udp server mode then i want to add clients also here so let me go to the modes i'm going to the modes so add modes i'm going for the create okay create new mode let me go for the sky mode so here this is going to be the clients udp clients so i'm going to use udp client c so this is just a description you can give a description now what is the process you want to load here means you can just go to the browse in the same folder rpl okay udp folder so we have udp client.c okay this is the program i'm going to load so just click on the open again you can just clean it compile it so here also some warnings there are only few warnings but we don't need to worry about it but there is no major error in this program you can just create it click create compilation successful you are creating the modes so how many modes you want to create means here i'm going to create 10 modes that means udp clients okay so what is the concept means all these clients they are going to communicate with the server okay they are going to exchange some data that means uh, we'll see we'll see in okay when when you run you will understand this now let me just click the add mode so random positioning so the modes are added here so if you want you can adjust the position but before that we must know which is client and which is the server now you cannot identify so what we can do means you can go to the view so in the view i'm going to enable the mode ids i want to see the id okay that means the number one two three four so up to one to eleven you can find so one is going to be the uh, the server all the remaining are the clients udp clients so mode number we need then address or ip address you can take the ip address then the next one is the output so output is going to be that means the print print of print of statement so the c program we loaded here for the server machine we loaded a c program for the client machine we loaded a c program so inside the c program if there is any uh, print statement print of statement if any output statement is available whatever it is printing i want to see that okay so i'm just going to enable the uh, output log output printf so leds if you want you can take the leds radio traffic okay i want the radio traffic that in the communication i want to see so position means x axis and y axis okay that means where the node is available okay where the node is located okay so it, it's, it, if you take this it will be like giving the x axis and y axis but it is not necessary you can just okay disable it and you can go for the uh, 10 meters background grid okay so you are getting a grid here then mode type so this is very important so this will identify which is going to be the server mode and which is going to be the client mode so the green okay the green color mode is a uh, server and remaining thing it is going to be the clients now the remaining thing motor attributes radio environment okay so radio environment i'm going to take it so the remaining thing are optional so whatever you can you can select it now i'm going to rearrange this okay because i want everybody should be in the uh, like what to say in the coverage area so then only they can easily communicate so i'm just making i'm just moving the nodes okay i'm moving the nodes uh, close to the server okay so these are the uh, modes and this is our topology diagram so this is a wireless topology okay and infrastructure based so infrastructure based means all the clients are going to communicate with the server here okay so this is the topology so i just arranged okay all the nodes according to my wish okay now i'm just going to start the simulation so once if you start the simulation what is going to happen means all the udp clients they are going to send a message that means they are going to exchange the hello packet 
okay or a hello message they are going to exchange with the server okay with the udp server so now so let me just click on the start so if you click on the start you can see created a connection with the server all the nodes they are created a connection then they started exchanging the hello packets okay it is exchanging the hello packets okay you can see here you can see the output okay the mode output you can see here every mode that means every client they already connected okay they, they established a connection after that they are going to exchange they are simply they are going to send not exchanging simply they are going to send a hello packet okay so that means mode number one is going to receive the hello packet from all the clients okay and it is going to continue you can see the number is increasing hello seven hello eight hello nine so it is keep on okay it is going to increase so in a particular duration okay with a particular duration okay that means with a with, with a particular interval so all the clients they are going to exchange or they are going to send the hello packets to the uh, server machine okay so this is what we are understanding here then the very important thing you can see here ip address every node is having an ipv6 address okay so fe 80 double colon 212 colon 7406 colon 6 colon 606 so this is the ip address for this node and you can see you can observe the no the ip address of the nodes all the ip address it starts with fe 80 okay that means fe 80 means any ip address starts with fe 80 that is called the link local ip address okay that is a link local ip address in ipv6 it is a one type of ip address if you are connecting a node with the internet then you need a global ip address but in this case this is going to be considered as a single network a local area network so the ip address automatically it is okay it is it is generating the ip address fe 80 is the ip address that is a link local ip address now every device okay uh, that means all the clients they are sending the hello packet by using the udp protocol concept but here there is no acknowledgement okay why there is no acknowledgement means we are using the purely udp so if you use tcp the server machine will give the acknowledgement for everyone but here in this case so simply the clients they are going to send the hello message or hello packet it is sending it to the uh, server machine now what we are going to see means now i'm going to take the first node that means i'm going to uh, take the server node i'm going okay just right click on that go to the mode tools okay for sky one and you can go to the uh, serial okay you can go for the serial socket okay or you can go to the collect view okay just go to the collect view so in the collect view you can go to the serial console so in the serial console you can see what is happening inside the node okay you can see here so in the serial uh, serial console i'm just okay seeing what is happening in that node means hello 42 from client number 2 hello 42 from client number okay 9 10 okay it is keep on going up so now 44 then 45 is going up so so far the server node received almost 46 hello message from all the clients so it is keep on updating okay so from all the clients you can see the id here from 2 2 11 4 8 9 okay or from everybody same like that i'm going to take one node okay for example i'm taking node number 3 okay so mode number 3 i'm going to take so right click go to the okay collect view so in the collect view you can go to the serial okay this is 3 and this is the server okay now let me go to the serial click on the serial console you can see here send data send to one one is going to be the server okay that is no the mode id so hello message 52 hello message 53 54 55 56 57 so you can track here you can see okay number one from number one okay if you want you can just pass it and you can see okay let me just pass it okay i pass the simulator okay now you can you can uh, compare here see data send to one one is the mode id that means to the server okay hello 59 okay now you can see so what is the number means this is a three okay this is the mode three okay now you can see mode three here id three data sent to one hello 59 okay data sent you can see the next one is okay data received so data is not received so far not is received if you just okay start you will get it okay you will get it here from one okay you will get it here sorry from three you can see from three this is the three i just pass it here 
see data received hello 60 from 3. So, what we are understanding here means if there is a server mode, all our UDP uh, clients, the UDP clients are keep on sending the hello packet to the server, server mode. Okay. So, this is a very simple topology diagram we can create in Contiki Kuja.